All right, guys, for the next three days, I'm going to be chumming this pond with all this bait. We're also going to be using a fish finder and we're going to be tracking the fish activity in the water every day after we chum. I'm going to cast it in the water. We're going to get an initial reading and then we're going to put this bag of chum in there. Yeah, guys, let's do it. This one's going to be epic. All right, an app here on your phone. Oh, something just came up and ate that. That was crazy. And we're tracking. So we're in six and a half feet of water there, guys. The battery's draining very fast. There's actually a fish on the bottom there. We got a fish on the bottom. Just eating, it looks like. Oh, there's another. So we got around two or so fish down there right now. Those little yellow markings, those are the fish, guys. So we are gonna chum it up. All right, here we go. First bat going in. I'm gonna try and target from here. See that other fountain over there. All right, I know a lot of people were wondering what the chum recipe that I was using last time was. And this was basically just a modified catfish and carp, catfish chum. Um, so I have some chicken liver, hot dogs, and shrimp all blended up in a blender. And then we also have some breadcrumbs, some oatmeal. So we put all that in a bucket and kind of just mix it up. Also add some fish sauce, gives it a little bit of a smellier smell. Obviously two cans of corn, always got to do that. And you just basically mix all of that up in a bucket, uh, bag it up, and then you're good to go. Bag number one complete. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for bag number two. All right, everybody, it is now day two of chumming this pond right behind me. We're gonna do most of this bag, and then tomorrow we're gonna finish off the bag, and then we're gonna fish. We are going to get the fish finder in the water right now and just kind of see how the chum was working. All right, we'll get it straight out first. So we did a lot of the chum yesterday. Oh, it looks like there's three large marks down there. Two at least. Oh, it looks like another maybe on the bottom. Definitely seeing some more than yesterday. There's another. Dang, another one towards the top. Things are looking good so far. Concoction bag number two. We will be back tomorrow to finish that off and fish. It's gonna be epic, guys. All right, everybody, we finally made it. It is day three of chumming this pond behind me. I just showed up and there are little ripples everywhere where we've been throwing the chum. We're gonna get another reading of the fish finder and then we're gonna start fishing. Guys, it's gonna be crazy. We have one rod with a bobber. We have one rod on the bottom. So uh, hopefully we can catch some of these fish. I think it's gonna be epic. Get out. We've been throwing most of the chum. Oh man, it is just lit up. Jeez. There's a lot of fish down there right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There's already two big marks. There's a bunch of bait down there. Okay, after this, I'm gonna chum and start fishing because <laughs> there's already fish down there. Let's get our last bit of chum in the water, and then we can start this. Oh. In the middle, just like that. The chumming is now complete. It is time to get some garlic flavored chicken liver on. We have our liver, we have a small weight here to hold down the bobber, and then we have a homemade bobber. I didn't have any big enough for catfish. That is what we got. We're gonna put this out. We'll go right over there. Same method, chicken liver on a five aught circle hook. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, it's gonna be like 114 today, guys. That's not good. I'm gonna get this one straight out here. Just right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
That took seconds. That took seconds right there. Oh, the bobber's getting bit. The bobber's surfing. Guys, do you see the bobber? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the bobber looks like Jaws right now. Look at the bobber. Oh my goodness. Oh, the bobber is Jaws. Oh, we got a nice channel cat. Let's get this bobber. Oh, I think he dropped it. We got him on the bobber rod too. We got him on the bobber rod. Guys, that was instantaneous. We got a nice one right here, and we already got a nice one right here. He was surfing that bobber. <laughs> we don't have a net today, unfortunately. Come on. I haven't even seen him yet. This is a pretty good one. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Maybe a bait. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that easy. Literally seconds in there, guys. Jeez, that confirms I'm not gonna be able to sit down today. All right, first fish, nice channel cat. He slammed that liver like as soon as it hit the bottom, man. I'll show you guys the second one here. Second one's a little bigger for sure. A little more feisty, look at that. Took seconds. He was pulling that bobber like freaking jaws. There he is. Let's get him back in the water, catch another one, man. That was instant. Well, let me get this liver back in. All right, here we go. There goes the fountain. All right, more liver on the bobber rod. Did not take long at all to get bit. Our liver is on. We're about to get it back out here. There. Oh my God. Oh my God. We got another one. We got another one. Guys, I can't rest. I cannot rest. Oh my goodness. Oh, my bobber's getting bit again. My bobber's getting bit again. He's about to bend that rod over. Oh, jeez. That is number three, I think. Our bobber stopped. Oh, okay, he's gonna flop back in, it looks like. Get this guy back in. Can't rest. <laughs> And I meant it, guys. I could not rest between these bites. I think the longest I waited total it was like two minutes for a bite, but most of the bites were 30 seconds to like one minute right after the bait hit the bottom. It was ridiculous. Hey, they can't all be big. Oh, the bobber, the bobber. He's under, he's under. We got him on the bobber. Oh, he popped off. We're just gonna leave it there. See if he comes back for it. Well, I'd say the chumming is definitely working. We're getting bites like almost instantaneously every time. Oh, he sunk it. He sunk it. Got him. Got him on the bobber. He doesn't feel huge, but we got him. Yeah, a littler one. Jeez, guys. <laughs> oh, I think that's five. We've been fishing for maybe like 10 minutes, but there's number five. My goodness. I'd say the chum has definitely worked and it has got these fish fired up. Go right out there again. Let's get this one out. Potato bobber, bobber down, fish on, we got him. <laughs> Potato bobber, that's what we call that one. Oh, our other rod, our other rod, oh my goodness, we got a double, we got a double, he's on. <laughs> I gotta land this one first. This one is heavy for sure. Ooh, decent fish. Oh, oh, oh. We got him, barely. <laughs> this one's camera worthy. There's some big ones, there's some small ones. They're all fairly skinny. I don't think there's a lot of bait in this pond. So when presented with food, they just 
Love it. All right, there's like number six or seven. Let's see if this one is still on. I think he is. Yep. Oh, no, I think we just lost him. Oh, we have him. I think he's little. <laughs> they can't all be big, okay? Well, there's Jiminy Cricket. And just like that, we have no more bait in the water. Guys, I think we have concentrated most of the fish right here in this spot. And this is all from chumming over the course of a few days. These are the kind of results you can get, man. There he goes again. There he goes again. Come on. We got him. We got him. This is like seven or eight. <laughs> Have not seen him yet. Oh, he's fighting for sure. Oh, he's trying to pull some drag. That's a pretty good one. Oh, he's all beat up. Oh, he is nasty looking. Look at that. Which one, but let's get him back in, man. We're on a hot streak. Oh, our bobber's gone. Our bobber's gone. Our bobber's gone. Oh, I think we missed him. No, we didn't. We got him. <laughs> we got him on the bobber once again. Guys, we cannot take a break. Haven't seen them. Big ones, small ones, short ones, and tall ones. There he is, not camera worthy. I've had good fishing at this pond before, but I don't think it's ever been to the point where it's like every 30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna get them both ready and then cast them in at the same time. I think that's the best way to do it. All right, I'll go with the bottom rod first. I gotta put on sunblock, man, but I just have no time. There's that, and then bobber rod. I need to spray on sunblock. The Arizona sun does not play around. Let's do the legs. Oh, the bobber, the bobber. We got him. We got him on the bobber. He was just towing that thing, man. Towing it. Decent one. Ooh. Oh, man. They're all about the same size. Oh, there goes the big rod. There goes the big rod. There goes the big rod. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get this one out before I pick up that one again. Because that one is on for sure. Oh, yeah, he's on. God, he's like right up here now. Oh, he was right here. He was right here. Oh, oh, he is a fighter. He is a fighter. He is right here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. This might be the biggest one. Right in the corner in the mouth. I'm just gonna flip him. This is just crazy at this point. Oh, the bobber. Oh, the bobber. He's just tightening that up. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh, this is a fire. We got him. Oh, look at that head shake. Look at that head shake. Oh my goodness. Man. Haven't seen him yet. There he is. I just cannot rest. He's hooked right in the top of the mouth. We've been killing him all morning on the bobber and on the bottom. Trying to get him so he doesn't freak out on us. <laughs> get him back. My goodness, we're doing good. There isn't too bad for you guys. There we go, right there. got him literally less than 45 seconds he's on the top of the water over there and our bobber rod there goes our bobber rod look at that look at that he is still getting towed he is still getting towed <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one 
This is a good one for sure. Ooh, that's a big fish. Oh. There we go. That is a nice one that has brought our bobber all the way over here. Who we also got. <laughs> wow. On the bobber, on the bottom. It is just seconds. It's trying to pull. Oh. Come on, baby. Ooh. Freaking out. Jeez. The circle hooks though, guys. Really getting them good. There we go. Two more nice ones right there. <laughs> guys, this pond is on fire. These are all quality fish. Just insane. While we have a spare second, this is the fish finder once again that I use. It's called the Deeper Pro. Find out the depth, find out the water temperature. And uh, as you can see, we track the fish every day with this with no issues. So if you guys are interested, it'll be in the description. We're getting bit on the bobber right now. Got him. <laughs> it's a tiny one. Bloop. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. We had plenty of action here at this pond. It is actually only, it is only 7 a.m. And I got out here about 5.45, probably had lines in the water by 6. So that was about an hour of action of just nonstop bites. I got to head home. I got some stuff I got to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.